Hello and welcome to another Christmas card video. I'm Rachel Gregg and in this video I want to show you how you can use a resist stamping technique with Distress Oxide inks to create your Christmas cards. The stamp I'm using today is the Dear Santa Quote Stamp from Darkroom Door. Usually with Christmas cards we need to make more than one card so I'm using the Tim Holtz Tonic Stamping Platform to stamp with which will allow me to easily stamp the same quote over and over without having to reposition it each time. I had a bunch of small craft cardstock pieces in my stash that I'm using to stamp onto. I've positioned the stamp where I want it to go on the cardstock and then pressed it onto the lid of the platform. As you can see the stamp stays in place and I simply ink up the stamp and press it onto the cardstock. If I don't get a great impression the first time I can re-ink the stamp and stamp it again and it will perfectly match up where I first stamped. Adding another layer of ink on top. I'm using Antique Linen Distress Oxide Ink and then embossing it with clear embossing powder. I want a light ink colour as I know I'll be using darker ink colours later over the top and I want the quote to stay light to stand out. So here's my stamped image and I'm using a heat tool to heat the embossing powder which will make the quote glossy and shiny on the craft cardstock. You can see the words changing to a more clear finish as the powder melts and sets. If you'll be creating quite a few Christmas cards, it's a good idea to do each step in batches. So what I mean by that is working out how many cards you'd like to create and do each step in that quantity. It becomes a lot easier and less time consuming. So right now I'm stamping up a bunch of quotes and covering them with the embossing powder. I won't use the heat tool right away as each stamped piece can sit on a table and wait until I've stamped all the quotes and covered them all with the powder. And now that I have them all stamped and covered in powder, I can go and heat set them. While I'm heating one piece, the heat from the heat tool will spread onto nearby pieces and can start to melt the powder, making this process a lot quicker. And now we have our embossed quotes, it's time to cover them with ink. I'm using the Candied Apple and Lucky Clover Distress Oxide inks and swiping them onto my craft sheet. I'm then spritzing the ink with water and placing the stamped quote face down into the ink. The embossed stamping will resist the distress ink and it will stay clear while the rest of the cardstock will soak up the red and green inks. You can see here how the quote stands out. I'm now drying it with a heat tool and noticing the green ink is starting to oxidise a little with the water and the craft cardstock, giving it a more of a bluish tinge. Wipe over the stamped image with a cloth to remove any remaining ink on the quote. To create some more distress effects, I'm spritzing some water into my hands and flicking it onto the cardstock. The ink will react with the water and it will lighten the ink where the water has dropped onto it. And then I'm just sponging around the edges with an ink blending tool to give it a more uniform edge. I want the edges to be rough, so I'm using a paper distresser to go around all the edges of the cardstock and then I'm rubbing the candied apple ink pad directly onto the cardstock to colour the edges a little bit darker. And for the card base, I've pulled out the Dear Santa Volume 2 stamp set and I'm using the Pine Leaf Stamp with the Lucky Clover ink to stamp around the edges of the card. Then I'm embossing it with clear embossing powder to give it a shiny look. The great thing about oxide inks is they are a dye and pigment combination so they are easy to emboss with. The only thing I need to do now is mount the quote to the front of the card and I'm using a really thick mounting tape so the quote sticks out from the card giving it some good dimension. So here's another look at colouring the embossed quotes with different Distress Oxide inks. I'm just testing out what they look like with just the red or a little bit of red or just the green. You can mix and match as much as you like and allow the layers of ink to dry in between so you get a cleaner mix of colour. And another idea is to sponge directly onto the cardstock using either the oxide inks or the regular distress inks, just with an ink blending tool. Both of those inks will work beautifully over the embossed areas, just giving you a different look depending on what ink combination you choose. It's a lot of fun and I hope you'll give it a go. If you'd like to see more ideas, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can also see lots of ideas and tutorials on the Darkroom Door blog at darkroomdoor.com. Thanks for watching.